If you come to Newport, you have to do this. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. We're here in Newport. We're going to check out the city. It's a foggy day today, but we are here for the weekend. I'm so excited. Let's go do this. Our first Newport activity is a morning mimosa cruise. Here is where our cruise is in Bowen's Wharf. It's established by Benedict Arnold, who was an American military officer during the Revolutionary War. It's 9.30 right now. Our cruise is at 10.30, I believe. Um, so you can't, we won't be able to see much out on the cruise, but it's still going to be really fun. It is through Gansett Cruises. I'll put up some more information on the screen, but let's go do this. As we wait for our cruise, here's a little port right here. I'll tell you about our dinner last night. So we got to Newport late, we were starving, so we went to Flo's Clam Shack. I had the calamari platter. It was so much calamari, maybe a little too much, but it was excellent. The platters were served with fries and homemade coleslaw. Joey got the Flo's Fisherman platter. It had clam strips, calamari, shrimp, scallops, fish, topped off with a clam cake and he also got the chowda with three clam cakes. Um, what did you think about it, Joey? Um, overall, I thought it was excellent, but it was a little too like deep fried for me. Yeah, everything was fried. There was a lot of breading. I mean, I should have known that going in, but if I had to redo it, I'd probably go with the lobster roll and skip the, uh, the platter. It was just too, too much, too fried, but the beer was cold and there was a good little atmosphere in there. The service was very quick. Um, you basically order at the window and then your buzzer rings and you go and pick it up. So I would recommend and I would rate it 7.7 .7 out of 10. Yeah, it was really cool. It was very like Newport-esque it felt. They had a really cool history. They were founded and they got knocked down by Hurricane Carol, Hurricane Donna, Hurricane Gloria, Hurricane Bob. And they just kept having to rebuild and rebuild and they've been around since 1936 so they have a lot of history it's really cool and they say you got to go to flows so i'm glad we went i'm glad we got it it's been on like the food network the travel network best channel so it's definitely an attraction to see here in newport hey here's our boat very fun very fun hey here we go an hour and a half Mimosa Cruise around Narragansett Bay. Here is our complimentary mimosa. Very cute, very nice. How was it, Joe? Good. This guy's really good. He's giving a lot of commentary about the houses and boats, little jokes here and there. It's great. It's good like explanation of everything, a little backstories of some of the houses and the families. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Crazy. This is called Beacon Rock. This is JP Morgan's, I guess, JP Morgan cousin's home, original home. And that where that is this driveway, that archway, and the architect was the same architect that did Central Park. This is Fort Adams, built in 1799. Adams is no longer an active military fort, but you can go and tour here. They have some festivals here, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice sized boat, they have a little upstairs. You can go hang out over there, they have the back. Really nice trip, even, even though it's very foggy, it's nice. After the cruise, we are now eating at Benjamin's Raw Bar. You ready? Yeah. Let's eat. That's a raw bar, all right? Pretty cool. This Bloody Mary does look better than the Universal one at Mardi Gras, right, Joey? Yeah. It looks pretty good. That's a shrimp. Here we have the clams Portuguese, whatever that is. How do you say, How do you say it, Joey? Portuguese. Portuguese. That's what I said. Looks pretty good though. And here's the fried mozzarella. That's my order. Looks good. Not what I expected, but looks good. I might even try the clam. Who knows? For our main dish, Joey got the lobster roll with crinkle cut fries and coleslaw. He was a very big fan of it. He's been wanting a lobster roll for so long, so he finally got his lobster roll. I'm not the biggest seafood eater. I did try the clams. They weren't that bad. They had a lot of breadcrumbs on it. Tasted pretty good, but I got the chicken fingers and the crepe cut fries were really good. 
the chicken fingers were fine, like normal bar style chicken fingers. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I think we have to do it. I think we have to rent one of these scooters. We're at Scooter World. <laughs> We're gonna see what it's all about. But we could get the Scoo Coop, $55 for your first hour, a scooter, a bicycle, or the slingshot. This is so funny. My Rhode Island law, we need sunglasses and helmets. No, I think only I need a helmet. No, I need a helmet, I think. No. Passengers, she should be sad. Let's do this. <laughs> it looks so funny. I got a pink one. <laughs> this is so funny. Can you tie my helmet? Oh, I gotta be the navigator? Yeah. Which one should we get? I don't know. Let's get the red one. The red one? Yeah. You don't like the green one? No, 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 I like the red. Red it's means... The red's dead though. <laughs> True. Red means fast though. Right. We look cooler in the red. Oh, this is so funny, guys. Play to put into play, press down on that back brake. Push down on that silver pin and let go of the back brake before the silver pin. Okay. High beams and low beams, does not matter which way they are flipped, they are always on. Your left turn signal and your right turn signal, it's not automatic like a car. You do push in like a button to stop it. Oh my god, this is so unsafe, I feel like. Oh my god, we're driving on the road. What the heck? Joey, why don't you slow down? Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> can't hit this BMW in front of us. Yeah! <laughs> ah. Oh no! <laughs> this is so fun! Oh, I love this! Wait, you have to tell me where we're going? Where are we going? I don't know! Look at me, I look so cool right now! Woo! Hey! <laughs> I feel like I'm in Italy! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try to follow the signs and head to the mansions. Try to see some amazing houses. Oh. This is so fun! Crystal Palace approved! Alright, vlog, we're live on Instagram right now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow at the Crystal Palace underscore. This is around the mansion area. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, we are going fast. Does it say how fast we're going? We're going This is the best way to see Newport. All these mansions, Ocean Drive is on the scooter. We drove to Fort Adams State Park. This is uh, what we saw on the cruise, actually. This Fort Adams area is really beautiful. You can walk along here. We saw a lot of people walking when we were on our cruise. You could also obviously tour Fort Adams. They had a rugby field. There's a ferry shuttle as well. All right, we put it as our destination to be the breakers. It's gonna take, it's three miles away. So let's do this. And for the lead, the Coca-Cola 600. We got Joey, <laughs> woo, in his scooter mobile. <laughs> we just drove into Salve Regina University campus. This is probably one of the most beautiful campuses. We gotta get out and back up because we're stuck. Stuck at this like turnaround thing. But yeah, it's, we're gonna do this tomorrow, definitely, the cliff walk. But this is the breakers. There's Joey pushing us. Woo! <laughs> Alright, you see all these people walking in. They're all walking to the breakers. See, there's like even bus parking. It's a very, very big tourist attraction. I can't believe that like Salve Regina University, it's like this is kind of on the campus. We're stuck again, folks. Number two. But he said like this is what you do, you gotta get out and do it, so. All right, we're on our way. This is a dead end. Fair warning, this is a cliff walk. We'll do it tomorrow when it's nicer out. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. All right, that right there, folks, is the Tennis Hall of Fame. If you're into tennis or you've ever played tennis, 
you should check this out. But that's what's cool about the scooter places. We get to just drive around on a scooter and pass by some things that we probably wouldn't pass by if we were driving in our car. We actually totally left our car at home today, at home, at our, at our room. Um, so this, this is great, you know? I like this a lot. If you come to Newport, you have to do this. And we are back. All right guys, that was so much fun. Our total came to $65. You had to pay $2 for the sunglasses. So if you want to save a few bucks, bring your own sunglasses. We didn't have it because it's not a sunny day, um, but that's okay. It came to $65. We did this scoot coop for one hour. Sleek and elegant. Oh, it goes to 30 miles per hour. Yeah, we were definitely doing 30. But here are your options. And then here's like the, the bougie one. Joey just kind of walked into the ice cream place. <laughs> So here we are at Gillen's getting ice cream. Yum. All right, here's my ice cream. Pretty good. It's no Cold Stone. I'm a Cold Stone Stan. How's yours? What? <laughs> this is my first time trying I think you got some on your nose. <laughs> Our first Dell's Lemonade. How is it? This one we just got in a store. We didn't actually go to the place yet but we definitely are going to get there to go to the, get the frozen lemonade. But here's just the bottle, how is it? It's lemonade. It's really? It's uh, that crazy. Do you think that from Lemonade Mouth, because Lemonade Mouth was Mel's, do you think that they ripped off Dell's? True, because it kind of looks like it, right? I love Lemonade Mouth. It's one of the best movies. Comment if you've ever seen Lemonade Mouth, or what's your favorite Disney Channel movie? For dinner, we are eating at 22 Bowens at Bowens Wharf. This restaurant was very nice. It's centrally located. We got the salad for appetizers as well as the clam chowder and Joey got some clams. For the main course, we got the tomahawk for two, which was really good. Joey really, really loved this. I did too. It was very buttery and it was a great choice for us. We also got the lobster mac and cheese as a side. All right, we're actually going to see a comedy show tonight. We got last minute tickets. They were only $30, um, but I'm excited. It should be fun. Before we head there, I just wanted to show you guys, look at this place, the landing. It is bumping right now. It looks so, what? You look like a grandma. <laughs> I am a grandma, but it does. It looks so fun. Woo! They got a live band. Awesome. Good morning friends. It is a new day here in Newport. It's nice and sunny. Today we're going to be doing the cliff walk and just do some of the little last things we didn't get to do before we head out. It's been amazing so far here in Newport. I'm excited to do this cliff walk. We're in front of Sala Virginia University right now. Look how beautiful. This is their admissions building. I think that's pretty insane. But last night we had the comedy show. It was really fun. Just something like cute and different to do um, here in Newport. And yeah, we're ready to have a great day. So let's go get started. I don't think I'll ever get over how pretty this building is. So this is actually where we parked right by the Sala admissions building. And right, the street over from us where we tried to park is like where the 40 steps is, but we could still get to the cliff walk this way. So, you know, there's parking, we gonna take it. So there's a detour right now. You can't get there, but this is like how the cliff walk continues. You should, could just go around though, if you want to get to the other side. But you can go either way. You can go down this way. You can go the other way. And I'm pretty sure it's about seven miles long. It's pretty far, but it's such a nice day. This is nice. Okay, so here's the north end. This is where it starts. We are right here. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna walk this way because this way is closed. We could walk around, but we're gonna walk by the breakers. And then it says like the red part is difficult, the orange part's moderate. So if you want just an easy path, you start from this this side, you know. So we're doing the hard stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do the hard stuff. <laughs> Look, it goes all the way down here. Oh, it's approximately two and a half hours one way. What? Yeah. You know what's funny to me? It's how we were in Portugal in the Algarve region and they had these cliffs. I'll insert some footage, but they had these cliffs that were just insane. It was like so much higher than this and there was absolutely no fencing whatsoever. Remember, Joey? And I was saying in Portugal how if this was America, there'd be fences. Like this is exactly the example. Oh my god, there's a ladybug on me. Oh my god. Can you get it off? 
This don't kill it though. Is. I know, but don't kill it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Please don't go in my pants. Put them. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Come on in. I'll show you around. All right. We are at the little viewing station for the Breakers Mansion. This was built as a summer home for Cornelius Vanderbilt II. Um, imagine this being your summer home. Okay, I mean, I would take this as my first home. <laughs> I'd take this as any home, but it's worth over like at least a hundred million dollars. So yeah, same, like, uh, don't we all have a summer home that looks like this? Yeah. All right, guys, we're walking past my guest house. This is for when I have the guests over in the summer. They'll stay here. These people are surfing into rocks. Okay. All right, we're coming up to our first little challenging situation here. Proper footwear required. Look at this, y'all. This is like Epcot. Look at this tunnel we got to go through now. It's pretty crazy. All right, well, this is a little frightening, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. Wow, look at this illustration. Stay on the safe path. Steep cliffs, high risk of injury. We will. All right, we stopped to take a little break. Um, but just to update everybody where we are, here we are, and this is where we started. Oh, oh look, you can see our parked car, that's funny. So let's go to the parked car. Wow, we're 32 minute walk away. Well, I mean, they're setting us a different route, but how many miles? 1.4 miles we did. Good for us. All right, we're gonna probably go through that little tunnel and then start heading back. All right, here's this tunnel. This is, oh, wow, look, it's like an egg. All right, on the way back, it's so much more crowded. It's like hard to even walk. All right, you can see the 40 steps over there, right there, they're packed. So we gotta take a detour, so we're not gonna do that. But there they are, if you were wondering what they were. All right, that does it for us at the cliff walk. Yesterday was like 40 degrees and today is like 75 and I'm sweating, so don't know what I would tell you. We're gonna go get something cold, probably some Dell's lemonade. Let's go. We will be eating lunch at Midtown Oyster Bar. Here I got this salad, which was an okay choice. If you're coming here, you should definitely try to eat the seafood. Like Joey got the lobster roll, which he really enjoyed. But I think the oysters stole the show for him, um, especially the Duxbury, Massachusetts ones were really good. All right, we got our Dell's lemonade from this little stand. We need, there's an original store, but it's a little further down, like further away. Frozen lemonade. Pretty good, it's very refreshing. What do you think? Well, I didn't really have any. Yeah. Refreshing, it's just like an icy. You're too tall from the camera. <laughs> what, does that mean it's good? Yeah. I don't feel like being a raider today. Why? I don't know, I'm tired. No camera time for me today. It's been a long weekend. Good but weekend. Good weekend. So, cheers to that, Newport. Now we're gonna go to the Ducky store. Are we? Yeah. Yay! Joey said he wanted, wanted to go, now he wants to go, so. Look at how cute this is. Just Ducky. Toys and candy. I don't know, it really caught my eye from the street. <gasps> Look at all the ducks they have. We have some Newport ones. So fun. Look at the Santa. <laughs> oh my god, look at this one. Harry Ponder and the Duckley Shallows. That's great. Oh, Captain Quack Millard. Pirates of the Quackabian. <laughs> 201 Duckmations Spa Wars. It's <laughs> cute. Look at this. Is this supposed to be Groot as a duck? It says Woody, but that's like so Groot. It's a, there's a Hulk. That's amazing. Taking a last walk through the little wharf area before we get on the road. Well, we made a pit stop at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> We're not sure. Mohegan Sun is only about an hour from Newport, so we figured we'd stop, get some Krispy Kreme donuts, and maybe I'll do a slot machine or two. All right, we went to Mohegan Sun. We actually won, so that's exciting. Thank you guys for watching this new part video though. It 
was a lot of fun. My favorite thing that we did was definitely renting the scooter. The scoot coop was so much fun. It's such a great way to see Newport. I also really, really enjoyed the cliff walk and seeing the beautiful homes that are just insane mansions. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment if you've ever been to Newport. Be sure to subscribe to The Crystal Palace and stay tuned for more fun. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Y'all know we couldn't drive by New Haven and not stop for some pizza. It's pizza review time. We're hitting up two places. Bonus footage. Let's eat. All right, our first stop is Modern, a pizza. Um, this is my first time having Modern, so I'm excited. I hear very great things. All right, so this is our Modern, a pizza. Frank Pepe and then Krispy Kreme Donuts. Of course. Alright, here we go. Frank Pepe's. Voila. Also looks good. Oh, shoot. Alright, which one should we go with first? I'm doing Pepe's. Alright, I'll do modern first, I guess. Okay. Wait. I like how this, uh, the slices are pretty small. So it's like, probably a lot of people can enjoy. We also got large pies. Cheers. That one looks cheesy. Yes, I like I like cheese. But look at that flop. So good. So cheesy. Mine's really cheesy. It's really floppy. Like I wish it was a little more well done on the bottom. How's your put on the bottom? Perfect. It's light, but I like a lot of cheese. All right, let me try that. Oh my god, you ate your slice already? A small one. They cut it up small. Okay, so here you can kind of tell the difference. Not they really. look they look similar. They do. This is lighter. Pepe's is done a little lighter. Pepe's is lighter. Modern. Pepe's. You can see the crust is darker on this guy. Yeah. Different. Wow. They're different. Definitely different. Yeah. The dough is different. The dough is more chewy and thick on Pepe's. Oh man. I don't know which I like better. Wow. Yeah. Definitely a lot more dough on Pepe's. Modern, my all oh, my cheese fell off. Modern is really, really, really more thin crust. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I like modern better. You do? Yeah. I do. I, yeah. I think I might too. Wow. Yeah, I do. I also, I like thinner crust pizza. And uh, the cheese is phenomenal. It really is. It's phenomenal cheese. And it's like a little salty too. It's so nice. Yeah. Really good. I wasn't expecting it to be like that thin when you look at it. Yeah, no, I know. It looked more similar to Pepe's, but. I'm going for another slice of this guy. Yeah. I definitely want to eat more of my modern. I would give modern 9 1. I was, I was thinking about 9 2. I was contemplating it. Well, my. I'm going those rolls. Modern and pizza. 9 1. New Haven. Pepe's. This is Frank Pepe's New Haven. There's some other ones around the block, but this is the OG. Frank Pepe's, I'm going to give you... You're not even eating it. I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to read it when you just took a bite of another one? Because modern's good. Pepe's is much thicker. Much thicker. Pepe's... Not, not necessarily a bad thing, though. Pepe's is a... 8-6. Frank Pepe's. We need the official Crystal Palace taste tester rankings, though. The crust on Frank Pepe's is so much better. Really? Yeah. I like modern crust. Let me try. No, because the Pepe crust is like nice and doughy. Yeah. And airy. I would give the cheese to modern, the sauce to Pepe's, the crust to Pepe's, but the overall experience to modern. So they kind of like are heavyweight battling. They're both excellent. I give the edge to modern and rate it 9-4. And I'll rate Pepe's a 9-1. Oh my god. You are like the nicest rater ever. No, I'm not. Yeah, you always give such high scores. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I do not. Look at and modern has like bubbles too. Oh, give me this slice. Pepe is like very traditional, I feel like. You know, like Pepe's is more traditional pizza. Alright. Well, that's our review. See you guys on the next one. Peace for real this time.